Hello and thank you for watching. I would like to introduce you my two uh, additions to the Arctic Cooler Collection that I have. Uh, if you saw my previous videos, I did a, a kind of like a first impression on the Arctic 65 and the Arctic 20, but on the uh, uh, roto molded cooler. So this time I actually got the 20 and the 30 on soft packs. So just want to kind of give you guys like a first impression and what do I think. Obviously coming from a female's, female's perspective. Um, the first one I purchased was this one. This is the Arctic 20. It's a soft pack. As you can see, uh, toll wise, it's about the same. It's like an inch and a half difference, but width, it's definitely a lot wider, the 30 than the 20, and you have more room, obviously. But uh, the reason why I got the Arctic 20, that was back in December, I wanted something smaller and something I could actually carry you know, with one hand, because I have my, uh, the, uh, roto molded 20, but it's a little heavier. So once you put everything in it, it does get heavy. So what I like about the Arctic 20, it's a lot lighter. And then you have the, uh, shoulder strap, you have both handles and it's really light. So even if you put beverages and ice or whatever you're putting inside, it's still pretty light to carry. So if you saw my previous videos, um, I did mention that I do a lot of outings. Uh, we have a six year old who is involved in sports. So every weekend there's usually something going on, either a football or soccer practice or some kind of uh, game. So we're on, we're driving a lot. So having the right cooler was really important for me. I, uh, I did use my, the first cooler I actually bought was my Arctic 65 and that is the biggest coolers they make. And it was pretty heavy for me. It, it's just, it wasn't the right size for, for like a weekend soccer game. It was just too big and it was really heavy. And definitely you need two people to carry that. So I wanted something small enough that I can just, you know, load up some snacks, put some drinks in it and go to a soccer game or a football game on a weekend and for a couple of hours. So I found the 20, which I really like, and I've been using it quite a bit since December. I got it at a great sale. Like I said, Arctic is running great sales right now. Um, so if you're looking for any other products, I really suggest you go now since they're going to be making some changes and they're going to be adding a whole line of uh, collection items they're coming out in for, for the summer. So Arctic 20, easy. It's, uh, I mean, it has some waterproof zipper. The only thing I did notice was that when you zip it up, it is a little tight, but it's waterproof seal. So definitely need two hands to um, sip it up but other than that it's no big deal and when you do get the cooler they send you a little tube which is a lubricant for the zipper that you want to put on once in a while to make sure they don't get too tight like right now it's still good so you can sip it up and do it with no problem it's a little tight though but the cooler itself it, I, I really love this cooler and I like having the shoulder strap because I can carry this and I still have you know, two hands free to carry the, the chairs or other stuff that I need. Um, so definitely I've been using this quite a bit uh, for for the games on the weekend. My soft pack 30 is bigger. And it's the same concept. Zippers are tight. So you definitely need two hands to unzip. Other than that, I mean, make sure you use the loop to make it, you know, uh, lubricate the zippers. Other than that, the cooler itself, it's a lot bigger. And what I like about this is that you have a lot more room. So if you're stacking up Tupperwares with snacks or, or, you know, picnic food, whatever, you can easily stack them up and then you still have room for, for your beverages and ice and everything else. So it's a great cooler. 
comes with a little pocket on the side, but it's really small. I don't know if you can really put anything, probably your phone in there. And the zipper is uh, water sealed too. Same with the, the, the 20. That's a small pocket, but it's really small. So I don't know if you can actually even put anything in there. And on the back, you have this little mesh pocket so you can put anything in there. Same with the 30. It has a bigger pocket. Handles. Now what I really, really like about this soft pack collection, they come with loops and buckles. So you can strap it down with no problem to anything you want pretty much. So they come with buckles and then you can easily strap it down. And now the reason why I got the 22 back in December um, my husband and I ride motorcycles, so once in a while we like to go on a ride for the day and we like to take uh, beverages and a picnic food item. So this cooler would be the perfect size that we can strap it down on the back of our motorcycle and it has the buckles and the straps that we can easily cinch it down on the back. Now. I, I mean, price-wise, like I said, I got them both on a sale, which Arctic is still running their sale. So check them out. I mean, it's an awesome price. You can't beat the price. So I believe I paid for the 30 I think I wrote it down, $88, and this one's $70. So $18 difference. But depending on the use you want to get out of it, that's pretty much the size you want to get. So like I said, the 20, I definitely use this quite a bit for just a quick game or or just a quick drive. I, I actually use this over the weekend to drive to my parents' house, which is about two and a half hours away. So I put my six-year-old in the back. I took my 20, loaded up with some snacks and beverages, and he was happy. So now the only downside, and it's not really a downside about it, is that this cooler, the soft pack cooler collection, I will only last about two to three days. So this is not a cooler you wanna take for camping or for a long trip that you have no access to ice for two to three days. So this cooler works well for day use. So I used the 20 over the weekend, put some ice in it, ice melted or I should say started melting by day two by day three pretty much I would say 80% of the ice had melted but the water was still cold and the beverages that I left in it were still cold so definitely this is just a day two day use same with the 30 it's day maybe two top three days and that's without refilling with ice so um Arctic definitely came out with a press release a couple days ago saying that they're going to be changing some of their coolers or some of their items. I'm not sure which ones because they didn't release what items they're going to be making changes to. And that is because they had a uh, legal battle with Yeti coolers. So I guess they came into friendly terms and now uh, Arctic has to make some changes to their products. But I don't think they're big changes. So they are definitely marking a lot of their items on clearance they're definitely running a great sale and if you're in texas near their headquarters they're uh doing huge markdowns on items that are scratch and dent so you, if you're close by i really suggest you check them out i'm not i'm actually in california so have no access to that but definitely their website order their stuff and i mean you, get, you can't beat the price and the quality of the material they are well built and they will last you a very long time. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or anything that I can answer, please, please feel free to post them. I actually do enjoy reading your questions and comments. If you like this video, thumbs up. 